Alright guys, uh, in this video what I'm going to do is show you how to write your own x68000 disks. Now there are several ways to go about doing this, but what I'm going to do is show you the easiest way to write five and a quarter disks, in my opinion. Um, so what I'll do first is cover some of the hardware that you'll need and then we'll take a look at some of the software that you'll need. Uh, as far as the hardware goes, what you're going to need is either a Windows 98 or Windows 95 PC. Uh, it can be old or new, uh, as long as it can support a floppy drive, specifically a five and a quarter floppy drive. Um, so any PC will work as long as you've got Windows 95 or Windows 98 loaded on it. Uh, what I've got here is a Gateway 2000 P5, and it's a Pentium 166, 64 megs of RAM, pretty much decked out with any, uh, any sweet DOS add-ons uh, that I may ever need. Uh, but the big piece here is uh, the five and a quarter floppy drive. Now it can't just be any five and a quarter drive. It needs to be one that supports 1.2 megabyte disks, uh, double density disks. So uh, really, the the newest of the five and a quarter drives will be uh, will be the ones to have. So got that installed here, and uh, I've got the PC booted up already. So uh, what I've done is I've got the OS running in 640 by 480 which is the absolute lowest resolution so you guys can get a decent view of this so um, now the program I'm going to use for this and there's a couple of others that uh, that are that will work as well but specifically in this case I found this to be the easiest solution uh, this program is called X floppy and uh, it's just a small little application uh, but I will tell you it does not work in any other operating system outside of a FAT or FAT32 OS, which is Windows 95, 98. I, I have not tested it in Windows ME, which is also a FAT32 OS. Uh, but you guys are welcome to try it. I don't know if it works or not, to be honest with you. So, uh, got uh, XFloppy here. Once you extract the contents of the download, which I'll throw in the description, you guys uh, will see these three files, a, a short readme file, the executable and then the uh, basically the device driver for the software in order to access the floppy drive controller. And what we're going to need to do here is copy this file and move it over to our Windows system directory. So uh, I've already got installed here so uh, you're going to want to paste this file in the Windows system directory. Once you've done that there's going to be a uh, system configuration file that you're, you're going to need to edit and it's called the system.ini and some of you Windows guys are going to be familiar with that file. I've already got it pulled up here so what we're going to do is for the uh, system.ini you're going to look for the 386 enhanced field and here it is right here. Now what you'll type here is device equals, no space, device equals x floppy dot vxd. Now what that does is when you reboot the machine that's going to allow the software to access both the controller and the floppy drive directly. So uh, we'll put that in there. Uh, I've already got mine in here so uh, then once you reboot the machine Make sure you reboot the machine because it won't work until you do. Once you get, it, you get the machine booted back up, open up your X floppy software. And uh, it's pretty self-explanatory here. You've got format disk, write disk from an image, and read disk to an image. So you, this is nice. You can actually take a disk, an original disk, or a disk that you've created and write back to an image file. Uh, floppy A and floppy B because most people have their five and a quarter drives on the B side. So, got a blank disk here. We'll go ahead and load it in there. Um, when you're inserting a floppy, a new floppy specifically, you're going to want to check the box to format it first. You don't want to just go right into writing the disk. We're going to go up here to our browser. And uh, I'm going to choose Chorin Cha. And we'll go ahead and start this. 
Now, uh, if you see a device I.O. error or something to that effect, uh, then it's having problem accessing the floppy drive controller or the floppy drive. So check your drivers, make sure your drive works. Uh, just some troubleshooting steps. Go into my computer and try to format it through Windows, the disk, or try to write a file to it. Just make sure that your floppy drive is working. Uh, if it's able to access the controller without any problems, then uh, you shouldn't see any errors and uh, this operation will complete without any problems. So uh, the first step here is actually formatting the disk and uh, uh, after this then it's going to actually write the, the image file to the disk in the proper format that can be read by the X68000. Uh, a lot of people don't like to use this software but uh, I found that this is probably the uh, easiest solution, especially if you've got an old machine laying around that you can just throw Windows 95 or, or Windows 98 on. Um, uh, this is probably the, the, just the quickest and easiest solution. Uh, the only problem with this software is it only supports five and a quarter drives, so you're not going to be writing three and a half. Uh, if you've got an X68000 compact, there's going to have to be uh, a different piece of software that you're going to have to use for this to work. Um, uh, and, I'll, and I'll probably touch on that in a separate video, but uh, uh, this software will work for the five and a quarters. So now that we're done, we'll take our disc over here to the X68000. Pop this other disc out of here. So we're ready to put the disc in. And there you have it. Now it's booting up the game that we have uh, installed on the disc. So uh, very easy. Don't be intimidated by it. If you've got the right hardware, then uh, it's, it's a very simple process. Uh, if you guys have any questions, just throw something in the comments. And uh, I hope this helps you out. And uh, as always, thank you for watching.